I'm here on a farm in Kiwanee County. It looks like a regular farm, but there's something different about this one. This farm has crops like you'd expect, but it also has some of these. Wind turbines. That's right, we're going to take an up-close look at wind power. Jim Jensen works for Madison Gas and Electric, and he's here to fill us in on some of these cool wind turbines. Oh, hey, Jim. Good morning, Asher. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good. All right, Jim, here are the facts I know about wind power. It's a renewable resource because you can use the wind's energy over and over. It doesn't emit any carbon dioxide, and it doesn't pollute the environment. That's right. In fact, there are a lot of benefits to wind power. In fact, wind power is the fastest growing renewable energy source in Wisconsin, and for that matter, the world. And today, we're standing in Kiwani County in the town of Lincoln on Debbie and Al Gillett's farm. And this is exciting because, as you mentioned, there are many environmental benefits of wind power. And our customers of Madison Gas and Electric Company want options for buying their power. So we're giving them those options in the form of clean, renewable forms of energy. Let's take a look at some of the more details on the wind farm. Great. OK. OK, Asher, we're at the base of the wind turbine tower. Why don't you take a look at the tower from this location? Wow, this turbine really is amazing. It's truly huge. It is. As a matter of fact, the wind tower itself is about 210 feet tall. The generator itself is located, as I mentioned, in the, in the nacelle. And as the wind energy is captured by the blades, the rotating blades turn the energy, or turn the rotor, and that energy is converted into and transformed into electricity. Let's go take a look at some of the monitoring equipment inside Great. the tower, and I'll give you a better idea of what that looks like. All right. OK, Asher, watch your step and go on in. Wow. It's very accurate in here. Yes, it is. So is this where all the power is stored and coming down from the generator? Well, it's not really stored here, but we can monitor the conditions within this particular tower if we look right inside this uh, control panel. As Jim was showing me the inside of the turbine, he told me about how the turbines were constructed. After the site was selected, the first thing they had to do was make the foundations. In the middle of winter, the crew came in and dug large holes between 15 and 30 feet down into the earth. Then they put seal rods into the earth and filled the hole with concrete. A few months later, they started to build the towers. Each one is made up of three sections, a 60-foot section, a 70-foot section, and an 80-foot section. After the tower was complete, it was time to attach the nacelle. The nacelle is the box at the top of the tower, which houses the generator, and has the propellers attached to it. This is where all the work is done, turning wind power into energy. And that energy is about 23 million kilowatt hours a year. Enough electricity for roughly 3,300 homes. Now that's a lot of wind power. Jim knew that I wanted to meet up with a landowner along the way, so we asked Debbie Gillett to meet with us. Hey, Debbie. Hi, Asher. How are you doing? Good. It's great to see you. Same here. So, uh, Jim tells me that you really wanted to have these turbines on your property. Why is that? Yes, I did, because I felt I was doing my part to help produce a clean source of electricity. So what's the best part of having these turbines on your property? Asher, the best part is to watch this majestic beauty turn. Initially, what were your thoughts about a wind farm, and have they changed at all? My thoughts haven't changed at all, and it, initially I felt it was a good environmentally sound project, and I believe that this is something that we need to pass on to our future generation so that they can enjoy clean air. That's pretty cool. Well, I think that about answers all my questions. Thanks so much, Debbie. You're welcome, And Jim, for helping me understand more about this kind of energy. You're welcome. It was such an amazing experience today. We had fun, too. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. A close-up look on a new wave of non-fluting energy. I had a great time. I hope you did, too. <laughs>